Hi, I'm Odette Benes, and welcome back to Hit It or Miss It, where all things pop culture and style are covered. By now, every person in and out of Northampton has heard and most likely sung along to Despacito by Luis Fonsi y Daddy Yankee. Despacito has topped the charts in 47 different countries, became the most downloaded song and the most viewed YouTube video of all time with 4 billion views. On April of 2017, Justin Bieber joined the remix of Despacito, which many believed opened a door for Latin music to integrate into American media. This week, I set out to explore the history of Latin music in the American mainstream and see what industry experts and Latinx people have to say about the future of Latin music in America. Well, it has a very big role. I think even bigger than a lot of people realize because there are uh, Latin artists that are not even perceived as Latin artists and they are very important and a lot of people like them and enjoy them and enjoy listening to them without even being aware that they're Latin artists. Um, I think like over time I would love to see more um, artists, Latin artists, come into the music industry and um, hear a majority of the songs that are like, you know, played and famous. Um, you know, top songs be by Latin artists um, or, you know, featuring them. Um, and I think that's starting to happen now, um, honestly, with a lot of, like, you know, rap and, and pop music. Um, but I'd love to see that more, you know, happening more later on. So I think it's an up-and-coming thing. I am, like, hoping that there are more songs coming out that are like those songs, just so you know, it gets more popular in, in the media. Latin music is becoming the biggest growing industry as of 2017. This could be the start or the peak of the Latin takeover. I'm Odette Benes, and this was Hit It or Miss It.